but yeah, it's it's um it's fun once you get the ball rolling, but it's just that initial like uh, like like that editing thing, that self edit, which I think a lot of people do is just like, oh, that looks dumb. Scribble, scribble, and then you're gonna just play that game forever. I've interrupted what looks obvious to me. Oh, 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 oh. so glad to be here. What made me follow you and promise not to tell? Oh, 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 oh. too much. I can't say we can't perform until a certain party leaves. It had taken us a while to figure out how to record around everyone's schedules because everybody's so busy with work and their families and just trying to find time to rehearse. And so we've had to be able to just record very fast. Daddy. Yeah, Henry. Um, can you come up now? Not yet. I'll let you know, buddy. It'll be just a little bit. Thanks for asking though. He's hungry, he says, yeah. After he didn't eat any dinner. of it's uh, true story kind of stuff but I mean that's honest I think um, I'm trying to think of an example where it's kind of more maybe calendars a kind of more of a outsider looking in on a situation it's about procrastination but most yeah most of the time it's inner battles with myself or inner battles you see close friends having, family, you know. I just like, I like stuff that like that. I've always been kind of drawn to that because it's, it's just real. I guess I can, lyrically, it's easier to, to um, connect with. Oh, what? in a way that people can go in and do their own parts on their own. You know, I don't have to be there for Jeff to go in and do vocals or for Casey to do vocals. Jeff and Casey will go in and do their own things. I'll go in and do my bass. Jeff can go in and do his own drums. We just get everything, you know, I'll just set everything up. I mean, there's no, and <laughs> if you saw us, it's very, there's no like secret mic placement since we're not using a control room. We just basically put a microphone in front of the thing we want to record. And then whatever it is, is it. It's, you know, and it's when you've only got a few hours, it's all just fly by the seat of your pants type of stuff. It's like, let's just hope it works. You know, you know, I mean, I'm, it'll record something and what that something will be will probably be fun. Maybe it won't be exactly correct, but it'll be at least maybe interesting. <laughs> okay. You sing really, really loud on this one? Not really. Okay. It's pretty low register. Okay, I'm just gonna use, give me something, let's just pretend. Oh, we'll just let's start running through. Yeah! That was a little too loud at the end. <laughs> okay, let's just go and see what happens. Well, I think the trouble with you was definitely our learning process of how we could record together and do it ourselves. So a lot of the trouble with you was just us fiddling with kind of learning how to engineer the whole record ourselves. And, you know, a lot of those songs came together really quick. I think Casey had a lot of that stuff maybe even before we started playing together. So it was, you know, take those, arrange them, and then learn how to record them, and boom, that was done. Now this record, the next one that's coming, I think is us more playing a lot more with um, sounds and taking time with guitar tones and different guitars, different amps, different drums. Um, and that sort of thing.
Yeah, can you give me just a little more level? Yeah, I'm gonna go up one notch. The register's pretty low. It's very... Let's try that one once. Almost monotone. Thanks. Okay. From the get? Here we yeah. go. Um, and if this level is too hot now, I'll start over again. It's on my bag. I have a sense that there are certain things he can hear in his head and what he wants to be in a song. It's like, if he doesn't know for sure what he wants, then he lets you do whatever you want. But if he knows specifically, I'd like you to do this, then it's easy for me to do. And I go, okay, you must know it's your song. <laughs> just usually scat or make up nonsense and then you know and sometimes the nonsense words actually turn into stuff that's like you know what that actually sounds pretty good I'm gonna keep it lyrically I'll just play it in my head until something will come up like a, a phrase and then then that kind of will snowball into what comes after. That's usually the, the process is just kind of finding a great melody. Well, something that just drives me crazy. I'll usually hum it f throughout the day and then I'm like, well, that means that it's gotta be okay. And then you find that theme and the lyrics that work together because if it doesn't work, it sounds forced and I can't and that just doesn't work for me. It should be one emotional combination. It just should work together, lyrics and, hey buddy. <laughs> So we don't necessarily treat it like a hobby, even though that's about the time that it gets. We would like to be able to spend more time on it. But, you know, what are you going to do? I mean, you know, we have family, so we're in a different place. You know, our priorities are, are different. Dad, it's not all about the band. It's easier now because I think we see a little more eye to eye. It's just because we're older guys and he has a family and kids now. And I got a family and kids now. And so it's like we both lead a kind of more similar lives than we did before. Look inside, every heart can move forward. Feel the thunder, my head swimming ocean. Look inside, big surprise out of focus. I believe what you say. So it just became fun. Like, let's let's make a record and we'll do it ourselves and we'll take our time and do it how we want to do it. And if it takes two years to make a record, well then it does, you know, whatever. It, it's hard when it's when it's you. Other people listening to it might have a completely different view of it because it's hard to step out of the box and hear what your music sounds like because you only hear it a certain way. So who knows? Who knows what it actually sounds like? I don't know. But I think we're all pretty happy with it. And then we were playing a lot, so that kept us from recording. And we have families and jobs, and so it's hard to coordinate getting together and do everything. But I'm really happy with it. I think there's a nice 
transition from the first record, which is good. Hooray for us, hit me with a 